Hello, it's Paul. I'm just going to do some quick videos on WordPress and how to set certain things up. In this one, I'm just going to show you how to do fake content. So if you're a, some sort of designer or you're just testing a website or a theme and you want to have you want to see content in your website to see what it's going to look like before you start adding your content, this is what that's for. So basically adding fake content. So I'm going to use this plugin, FakerPress. So just Google FakerPress. Uh, and download the plugin you'll see it gets you know 135 star reviews a couple of fours and not really any negativity so what it's going to do is add fake content right so what I'm going to do is plugins add new upload a plugin choose fake I've already loaded it there so choose the one you've just uploaded install it activate and there you have it it's set up right so if i go to post there's going to be a hello world because this is a brand new page there's going to be maybe a test page privacy and sample page so what i'm going to do is down here look faker press settings so when we when we finish we're going to delete it here by just typing let it go i'm not sure what it's consumer keys for um you don't have to do anything from what i've seen post right so i'm going to set up some fake posts so the quantity i want um 10 posts right I don't know what I don't enter. I can't understand this fully. It says how many posts should be generated. Use both fields to get a random numbers number of posts within the given range. So I think if you put ten to twenty, it's going to do ten posts and give you a, a, a range of um, different different numbers of your posts. So it, you can put another number in here, but I think if you put ten to twenty, you'll get ten, or you put ten to fifteen, you'll get five. I'm just going to put ten. Uh, when do I want to generate them? Yesterday's fine for me. The post type. I want a post and then maybe we'll do some pages in a bit. Parents, are so you searching for parents? You don't need to, but you can if you want to see it as a as a, um, a child post to a major post. But again, I think you're just looking for content. Allow comments, uh, author, I'm going to put as me, uh, content size, how many paragraphs, you know, be fine. I just leave this default. You can change it to smaller. If you're just looking for stuff, uh, select like the type of things you want to see. You want to see what all of these look like on your theme. You know, a main header and a second header and all these block quotes. And I just leave it all as basic. Uh, taxonomy, I don't even know what this means. Meta rules. So I just left it as basic because we're going to delete it all anyway. So generate, right? I'm going to generate it. It's going to give me 10 posts. The first time seems to take a little bit of time, uh, and then afterwards it, it it seems to go quicker. So I'm going to generate a load of posts. Come on, let me close this. As I go, if I go to my website here, there you go. They've been generated. So you see here now, I've got ten new posts, and in my website here's ten posts with. Featured image this is what it's going to look like on my website. Here's the header, uh, here's content, here's the sizing, and I can go through and look in my theme. This is a default WordPress theme, so there's nothing exciting about it. Here's a theme with no no uh, uh, featured image, so it's what it look like. Again, I can go back and do posts, pages here if I want to do pages and generate pages. Um, it will generate me pages. So if I go up to here now, you'll see in the post section, there's now 10, 10 posts uh, generated. If I go to pages, it'll start to, is the, is the pages being generated? So I can see now what a page looks like on my website, what images are going to look like. So you can, you can upload your theme now or, or start playing with different themes on sample content, right? Uh, again, if we want to do comments, we want to see what our comment system is. Default, post type, put it in pages. Quantity, let's do 10 again. Uh, the date, let's put yesterday. You can put random dates in. Content size, 1 to 5. I'm just going to generate it, right? So it's generated 10 comments. And there's another 10 comments. If I want to do users, I want to, I want to add 8 users. All as, say, subscribers. I'm going to generate users. And now when I go to my website, 
I'm going to click on a doesn't show uh, comments as in the header. Uh, leave a comment. This one doesn't have a comment. So, but if I go here now and go to comments and go here, look, here's a new comment. Let's view this comment. Uh, it's in this post. So there's three comments on this post. Oh, let's view the post. So here's the post. Here's the comment. And this is what comments look like on this theme. So again, your theme, whatever you're doing, you can add that basic content. You can go to users that you've added. So here's some test users. You can view the user. Uh, oh, I didn't like him. Maybe that might be more to do with my um, setup than, than anything. You can view the user. Yeah, something went wrong with the user, but it's all right. In your theme, it'll probably work in mine because it's a test area. It's, it's a bit funky. So we've generated posts, pages, comments, users. I'm not sure what terms are for, actually. I don't know what terms are. I might be being stupid if I don't understand this. Uh, but once... Once we've got it all, I'm going to show you in posts. Let's go to posts, right? We've got all this this dummy content. Once we're happy, we've set up our theme. We're just going to go here to settings, fake press settings, and do the frozen. Let it go. Let it go. And then it will delete everything that's added. So if we let that do its thing. If I refresh post, back to that Hello World one, and if we go to Pages, and back to... It's actually deleted all the pages, isn't it? Which is not a major problem, but be careful with that. Um, fake Press, uh, sorry, Users, and it's deleted the extra users that it's added. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it makes sense that, you know, just to add some dummy content see what your website's like because when you put a new theme up you can't test it properly and then you can delete it afterwards anyway no problem uh, so hopefully that helps just a quick just a quick uh, fake press demo cheers